वेलकम टू आई स्टडी पार्क दिस इज एस बी के दिस इज सेशन नंबर टू लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन अबाउट समथिंग पाइथन पाइथन रिलेटेड थिंग जस्ट बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन वाई द इंट्रोड्यूस एंड वेन द इंट्रोड्यूस द पाइथन लैंग्वेज एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ अपलिकेशन वी कैन डेवलप बाई यूजिंग पाइथन फ्रेमवर्क नॉट पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग पाइथन फ्रेमवर्क इज हैविंग समथिंग लाइक ओके so this is the last session so today's session is yeah today's session is to to session 2 पाइथन पाइथन सेशन जीरो टू now great so now last class we have seen about something python now in this session we have seen something about python features of python features of features of python python programming ming language language features of python programming language so now uh, you can say the features of python programming language first feature is first feature is i can say this is the very uh, uh, every developer should admire this thing because some very good person developing these things and they are providing as a free so we can use this thing as a free so that's the why this is the freeware freeware and open source open source source this is the first one first feature first second is second is simple it is very simple simple and easy to learn easy to learn simple and easy to learn and third is third one is this is the perform this is the platform independent independent dependent fourth feature is portability portability good portability it means uh, porting uh, one sim to another we are not changing anything just we are not changing number just change a network so here portability is same okay when i explain portability there you can understand easily okay dynamically typed fifth feature i am very much very much fan i am very much fan about this feature dynamically typed language okay dynamically typed six one is six one feature it is six one is object we can say object oriented or like this not required interpreted 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 language okay here is not required to compile just interpreted just run the program this run okay next feature is extensible 
एक्सटेंसिबल extensive library is we have extensive library so these many features are there in the by python as per my knowledge so slowly slowly one by one we will discuss okay perfect yeah no no first feature is freeware at first feature is freeware so in what is the meaning of freeware anyone having knowledge about the freeware if you having knowledge about the freeware just give me so freeware is nothing but so freeware yeah so freeware we can we can use python we can use python software without any license license and and it is freeware and it is freeware freeware so we should not pay a single money to anyone that's why it's freeware the next point is next point is it's a source code it's source code next is source code what is the meaning of open source it's source code available you can modify and develop its you, your own language so source code source code to source code is source code is open is open so that we can that we can customize that we can customize based on our requirement requirement okay we can customize okay so for example for example suppose uh, by using python using python then source code source code i i want to develop to develop i want to develop itsp python itsp python python language so i can so i can so it means it means is python as open source great okay now next is simple and easy next one is simple and easy what how i can say this is the simple how why i am saying this is the simple how i am saying this is the simple guys so now 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 so python then is a simple programming language language okay 
when we use python language you can easily understand okay easily understand python so not required to do much effort for the python okay the syntax the syntax the syntaxes are very simple simple and only and only 30 30 keyword word are available available only 30 keywords are available in python total python so that's why this is the simple okay when uh, when compare when compare compare with other other languages other languages we can write program programs with with very less number of less number of lines we write less number of so so more readability and simplicity t and simply simplicity simplicity by using python we can reduce reduce development development and cost of the cost of the project project and next is very important point what is the meaning of platform independent so now platform independent mean platform independence means once we write a python program or we can run the python software python program anywhere in the linux operating system like mac os operating system uh, windows operating system suppose you write a program in the windows i am i will write a program in windows operating system but i want to run uh, this application to another operating system like linux so i can easily run the that application that means this is the platform independent so not required to install windows and then run but in the golden days olden days when programming language is there called c c is platform dependent once you develop this program in a window operating system you can run this program only window operating system you cannot run the program on other operating system okay this is the drawback in a c program so now once once we write write we write a python program python program it can run python program it can run it can run on any platform form without without rewriting without rewriting rewriting without rewriting once again once again once again once again internally python virtual 
virtual machine virtual machine called pbm virtual machine to convert into machine understandable form form machine understandable form this is the meaning of platform so now next fourth feature is our fourth feature is portability portability fourth feature is our portability Okay, now great. Portability. Portability is also simple. Porting, uh, you, if you have a SIM, so for example, if you have a SIM, like a Geo SIM, you want to port the SIM into another network like Airtel. like another network so you can simply put the so same thing is here same thing here suppose you want to put your application to one language one program port to one migrate means one language to another language you want to migrate okay so we can use it so now here you can understand python program python programs are portable portable that that is that is we can migrate from one platform um, to another platform platform very easily very easily python python program will provide us some result on any platform python program provide same result on any other any other platform any platform That's it. Dynamically type. This is the very good feature. This is the very good feature. In Python. So dynamically type Python in Python in in Python we are not required required to declare type of type of variable type of variables type of variable <clears throat> whenever whenever ever we are assigning we are assigning the value assigning the value we are assigning the value based on based on value type will be allocated 
allocated automatically automatically hence hence python hence python is consists considered considered as dynamically typed language okay now but java c etc are strictly strictly typed language language because 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 we have to provide we have to provide type at the beginning at the beginning only at the beginning only okay so so when we use python so not required to declare anything so i'm just showing thing python python here so a equals to 10 a equals to 10 here here so you assign a suppose you want to print the print type of a so here you can see it's automatically take you can see here it is taking typed int yeah perfect a feature and it's taking automatically typed int so if you use if you assign a equals to a equals to suppose svk like that so you can print type of a str str yeah no, perfect this is the meaning of this is the meaning of dynamically typed language interpreted now next is interpreted so now interpreted mean <clears throat> interpreted means we are not we are not required required to compile required to compile <clears throat> required to compile python program python program explicitly 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 we are not required okay but internally but internally internally python python interpreter interpreter python interpreter python interpreter bill bill then interpreter bill take will take care that will take care that add take care that of compilation Python. Now, next point is if a compilation fails, if compilation fails, interpreter 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 rise 
raised syntax syntax error syntax error once compilation once compilation success success then pbm means python virtual machine is responsible to execute to execute execute so this is the meaning of interpret it next is extensible next is extensible so uh, the very good feature <clears throat> so extensible means we can use python inside the python language we can use another language also so this is the meaning of extensible so we can use other other language program in python programs in in python okay now next is next point is next point is extensive extensive library means having the rich library python python has a uh, rich in build in build library library in build library being being a programmer being a programmer programmer we can use this library library directly directly and we are not responsible to implement implement implements we are not responsible to implement we are not responsible to implement the functionality okay so this means the so this is the all features having python okay so now today onwards uh, i am going to also teaching i am teaching like how to develop python application first i will discuss one topic called identifiers what is the identifiers in python so you can read this document also you can read this document also in a python programming okay yeah perfect now up to this is completed so python introduction part is completed guys python part 
Python introduction part is completed. Our topic is next topic is identifiers. If you know Java, if you know the Java, if you know the Java, so then you can understand easily identifier. Identifier is nothing but identify the name of the class, variable, methods, all these things. It's called the identifiers. Means suppose we have a class. How you can identify this is the class by using name? Variable. If you declare a variable, how you identify this is the variable? By using the variable name. So you can say this is the same thing here. Yes, Python having identifiers. Okay. So identifiers, write it. The identifier, identifier, identify the name of the name of the python program programs is called is called is called identifier identifiers that's it identifiers now next point for example example is example is example is class name class name function name function name or you can say or you can say method name method name uh, module name from a module name module name name variable name name so this is the example this is the example you can see okay class name python okay like a equals to a equals to 10 and name equals to like svk and uh, function like uh, uh, def v1 v1 function like this okay so here function function like print hello so here can you identify which is the identifier so now no 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 this one is this one is identifier this one is identifier and here here this one is identifier okay so this is the meaning of identifier guys identifiers got it so we have some rules to define the identifiers we have some rules to define the identifiers so what are the rules I'm just giving to you guys rules of defining defining identifiers identifiers in identifiers in python so very one first rule is first one rule first rule is 
फर्स्ट रूल इज द ओनली अलाउड करेक्टर इन पाइथन आर हाउ मेनी करेक्टर वी कैन यूज इन पाइथन आई विल गेट द ओनली द ओनली करेक्टर इन द ओनली अलाउड अलाउड करेक्टर इन पायथन पायथन आर सो अलाउड करेक्टर इन पायथन इन अल्फावेट्स ए टू जेड 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 कॉम ए टू जेड एंड एंड जीरो टू एंड जीरो टू नाइन जीरो टू नाइन एंड एंड अंडर स्कोर सिंबल एंड अंडर स्कोर सिंबल सो फर्स्ट थिंग ओनली फर्स्ट अलाउड करेक्टर ए टू जेड अदरवाइज कैपिटल लेटर और स्मॉल लेटर यू कैन यूज जीरो टू नाइन यू कैन यूज एंड यूज अंडर स्कोर ऑल्सो सो ये राइट इट अंडर स्कोर अंडरस्कोर सिंबल आल्सो अलाउड सो इन द पाइथन इन द पाइथन यू कैन यूज हियर एग्जांपल इज कैन इंक्रीज द प्रॉपर्टीज वांट टू इंक्रीज द सम साइज लेट to meeting layout font i think 28 is good there 24 is good perfect 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 so now here you can declare uh, identify the like a equals to 10 perfect and uh, a equals to 10 perfect the print let me let me let me a equals to twenty. So print a small a and ten, and print why because it printing because capital A having a sky code is a different and small a having a sky code is a different ninety eight I think something like sixty four is the capital A and Ninety six or ninety seven, like this. Okay, okay. This is the based on sky code value. It's storing the value. Okay. So now here. Okay. Okay. So now they will get it. A. So now it's allow. It's allow. First is a small letter and capital letter is allow. Next is digit. So digit allowed or not allowed? Digit like a zero. Equals to ten, allowed or not? Print of a zero a a zero like that. You can get it. And underscore is also allowed. Underscore is also allowed. Now you can say you can print underscore. Now here just. No capital A allowed. Capital A allowed. Ah, uh, number zero is allowed, and underscore is allowed. This is the example. Example. Okay, guys. So this is the example.
with our first discussion. Next allowed character is Mm -hmm. Suppose now here point is if by mistake next point is by mistake take by mistake, if we are using, if we are using any other symbol, any other symbol like symbol like is percentage, asterisk, dollar, then we will get syntax error syntax error so now here you can see i am giving the example then now suppose you are using what is that a and use one thing one thing one thing like one thing like uh, uh, percentile equals to 20 now it's allowing it's allowing it's allowing it's allowing so you can print suppose wait 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 mm -hmm. i think it's only dollar symbol it's not allowed let me check not the issue not a big deal percentile yeah Invalid syntax, perfect. Okay, invalid syntax. It's not a storing. What's it? Suppose you declare as a, a here is not allowed. Any other symbol is not allowed. Like dollar equals to ten. Not yeah, this. Ten here is not giving error. dollar ah. here we are getting error here we are getting error dollar so now dollar is not allowed and other symbol is allowed okay so now it is this it is this one if you mistake are using any other symbol like this so you will get error name like Raj print name name perfect mm -hmm. yeah now use this Only a error. Now next is next point is next point is identifier identifiers identifiers are identifier should not start with start with digit digit like like 10 0 then a then a it's 
you can use can use you can use like this name you can use like name name like 201 that's good this one is wrong right right so now here i am giving example with you guys that is that like three raj name name equals to name equals to like vivek it's invalid getting what it guys getting we are invalid now use instead of name like any number five six it is not getting an error and print print like name name five six eight perfect perfect you will get output now print this that is pasting and here okay good perfect so now this point is clear so one point also i, I was discussing i'm going to discuss identifier is case sensitive identifier or the case sensitive sensitive for example you are using inside the python example inside the python you are using like total equals to 10 okay and using total equals to 30 30 okay the this is taking the two different value there print total total output you will get 10 and here print total here i'm not here to ask anything to you i'm my responsibility you give a I will teach you everything, don't worry. So, I will give an example also, the live practical. So, now here, just uh, total equals to 10. Now, print total 10 and total. The last example also, a K and a, a, a capital A I, I have given to you. Why? Because it's uh, taking a value as a uh, by uh, based on is Unicode value, sky code value is there. Okay. Now print tell. So now why? Because why? Because Python is uh, also case sensitive language. Python is also case sensitive language. Python is also case sensitive language. Python is also case sensitive language.
perfect so now this is all about uh, not all about i can i cannot say this is all about this is something about python that's it perfect okay and uh, i will share this note on my facebook group uh, in the video description you will get the link here i will put a session python okay okay thank you thank you for watching me and please do like and subscribe and more share with your uh, with your friend once uh, once we get where we get this is the introduction part here is not much thing to discuss with you here the introduction part i am giving some variable declaration all the things but once we get a one particular uh, like path then we can go fast okay thank you thank you for watching and tomorrow i will give a one uh, like syllabus kind of thing i am preparing one syllabus for you guys um, so we, we we follow this syllabus thank you thank you for watching me